Until today, only 47 people have been presented with the Rough Rider Award. It's North Dakota's highest commendation for its citizens. Virgil Hill is number 48, and the award ceremony is going on right now at the Bismarck Event Center. Lee Timmerman covered the Boxing Hall of Famer for over 30 years. He's live with more. What do you got for us, LT? Yeah, thanks, Jeff. You're right. Since 1989, I've been very fortunate to be able to watch Virgil Hill become a Boxing Hall of Famer. You know, I'm often asked the question, who's the best North Dakota athlete that I've ever covered? Well, I think you have to throw Darren Erstad, Weston Dressler, Jim Kleinsaucer, among others, into that conversation. But my answer always is Virgil Hill. And right now, he is receiving the Theodore Roosevelt Rough Rider Award. It's an honor that will be with him forever. I never really thought about it like that until you just said that. Um, I was just excited to get to, to get the award. I haven't really thought about, you know, all everything else. I am proud to be a North Dakotan. I'm always going to be, even though I live in Southern California, I'm always going to be a North Dakotan and stuff. And I'm proud where I come from and, and my upbringing and stuff like that. 34 years and six days ago is the loudest I've ever heard the Civic Center. Virgil knocked James Kinchin through the ropes in the first round. Coming out and walking down, you know, walking down to the ring and stuff like that, and they start yelling and screaming. I couldn't even hear, you know, my trainers in the corner giving me instructions on, on, on what to do. Um, the enthusiasm was just phenomenal, you know. I hated to have to put the show on the road, but... At one point, you know, we had to start going overseas and stuff like that because they wouldn't come fight me here. From North Dakota, USA! Hill won five world titles, defended them 20 times. His pro record is 50 and seven. 27 times he fought as a pro in North Dakota with 16 at the Civic Center. Virgil is in both the National and International Boxing Hall of Fames. Teddy Roosevelt uh, Award, um, means a lot, means way more than, to me, than, um, you know, the Hall of Fame and stuff like that, because it's North Dakota. And uh, that, to me, is way more important than any of the other awards and stuff that I've ever received. Virgil turns 60 in January. Now, he's still active. He's still busy training uh, fighters. But he and his wife, Deneen, say they're also very busy chasing around six grandkids, and they have a seventh on the way. Jeff, back to you. Thanks, LT.